Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says divide rupees 3700 into two parts so that the simple interest on the first part for 8 months at 10% per annum is equal to the simple interest on the second part for one and a half years at 12% per annum. Before moving on to the solution, let's recall the formula. For the simple interest, SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100, where this P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, T is the time in years. This is the key idea to be used in this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. We take let the first part be equal to rupees x. Now that we are given that rupees 3700 is divided into two parts and we have taken the first part to be x. So the second part would be equal to rupees 3700 minus x. Now let's consider the first part, we will find the simple interest on the first part. Here we are given the principal that is P is rupees X. Then the rate of interest is 10% per annum. That is we have the rate of interest. R is equal to 10% per annum. Then time T is equal to 8 months. Which is equal to 8 upon 12 years. Now simple interest SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100. So, simple interest SI is equal to rupees X into 10 into 8 upon 12 upon 100. That is we have substituted the values for P, R and T in the formula for SI. So we get this would be equal to rupees x into 10 into 8 upon 100 into 12. Now 0 cancels with this 0. Then 4, 2 times is 8 and 4, 3 times is 12. So this is equal to rupees 2x upon 30. Or we also have that 2, 15 times is 30. So this is equal to rupees x upon 15 is the SI or the simple interest on the first part. Now let's consider the second part and find out the simple interest on the second part. Now the principal P for the second part is rupees 3700 minus x then the rate of interest r on the second part as given in the question is 12 percent per annum So here we have for the second part R would be equal to 12% per annum 
then the time t is given as one and a half years. So time t for the second part is equal to one and a half years or you can say this is equal to three upon two years. Now simple interest SI is equal to rupees principal that is 3700 minus X into R that is 12 into time that is 3 upon 2 upon 100. So this is equal to rupees 3700 minus X into 12 into 3 upon 100 into 2. Now 2 6 times is 12 and 2 3 times is 6 and 2 50 times is 100. So we get this is equal to rupees 9 into 3700 minus X upon 50. This is the simple interest SI on the second part. And in the question it's given that the simple interest on the first part is equal to the simple interest on the second part. So we have according to the question simple interest on the first part which is rupees x upon 15 that is x upon 15 is equal to the simple interest on the second part that is 9 into 3700 minus x upon 50. So this gives us x upon 15 is equal to 33,300 minus 9x upon 50. Now cross multiplying we get 50x is equal to 15 into 33,300 minus 9x. That is we have 50x is equal to 4,99,500 minus 135x. So we get 50x plus 135x is equal to 499500. This gives us 185x is equal to 499500. So from here we get x is equal to 499500 upon 185. Now solving this we have 185 2700 times is 499500. So we get x is equal to 2700. Thus we have the first part is equal to rupees 2700 since we had assumed the first part to be x and the second part is equal to rupees 3700 minus x. So this is equal to rupees 3700 minus 2700 equal to rupees 1000. Thus first part is equal to rupees 2700 and second part is equal to rupees 1000. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution for this question.